hello wonderful people you are welcome to another tutorial today we'll be making a mermaid sketch with a goddess i have my fabric spread out on the table the skirt length i'm working with a skirt length of 41 but i'll be using 42 one inch for the folding in allowance i'll take my tape measure from my waist to my hip the hip measurements from my waist to my hip I'll be using nine inches from my waistline to to the knee line I'll be using 18 inches and the skirt length of 41 inches but I'll be marking now 42 I'll be using one inch for the folding hand allowance we can then insert our circumference measurement the waist I'm working with is waist 44 44 into 4 will give me 11 that will be adding 2 inches sewing allowance. I won't be adding that to the skirt. I'll move over to the hip line. The hip I'm working with is hip 48 inches. Into 4 will give me 12. I will also add 2 inches sewing allowance. And on the lean line, whatsoever I have on the hip line, I'm going to go in by 2 inches just to make it fitted just to table it around that area i'll be going in on the line by two inches i will then connect to the lower end of the skirt i folded my material using 21 inches i'm using 21 inches that is how wide I want the lower end of the skirt to be. I am using 21 inches. So I will connect from the knee line to the 21 inches. You can do 18, 19, 20, depending on your preference. But I want my skirt to be bigger, so I use 21 inches. So I'm going to connect it from the knee line to the end of the skirt. I'll be connecting from the knee line to the end of the skirt. I will then connect back to the hip and then to the waist. like so i'll connect to the waist you can see that our skirt is already formed i haven't done that the next thing for us to do is to cut out So our front pattern is ready. Our front pattern is ready. And in cutting out our back pattern, I'll spread out the fabric on the table. I'll place the front piece on it. In cutting out our back piece, I'll spread out the fabric on the table. I'll place our front piece on it. Then I'll be leaving 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance at the center back. I'll be leaving 1.5 inches 
for the zipper allowance at the center back. So I'm going to cut out. We'll be cutting out the same thing for both the front and the back. But the only difference is the zipper allowance. We'll be cutting out now. So in all, we'll be having three pieces. We'll be having three pieces for the skirts. At the center back, I'll be slitting it open. So our front piece and the back piece is ready. The front piece and the back piece is ready. So be slitting the center back open to make it three pieces. We will be folding back and we will set it aside to cut the goddess. We will fold and we will set it aside. We will then cut the goddess. I will take a fabric for my goddess. I will be folding on bias. You fold over like a triangle. You fold over like a triangle. You fold on bias, just as the way we will fold if we want to cut our circular dress. You fold like a triangle. Okay. We will then take our measurements the length of the goddess the length we want our goddess to be I'm adding one inch to my length. I'm adding one inch for the sewing allowance. We'll connect the points. We'll connect the lines together. We will then cut out.
So the goddess will be attached to the center back of our skirt. This will, en will enable the skirt to have more volume. Just for it for our skirt to have more volume, I'll be adding goddess to it at the center back. So that is what our goddess is looking like. So it will be attached at the center back of the skirt. So this is exactly what it will look like. 